All right, so we're here uh, today in the Corvus Coffee Roast Works to do a demonstration on brewing with the V60 Brewer. It's a really excellent brewer from Hario, um, traditionally a glass company in Japan. And uh, it's a very nice, very inexpensive way of producing a cup of coffee with kind of a highlighted clarity, um, highlighted acidity, and vibrance to the cup. Today we're um, brewing one of our Maker's Reserve series coffees, which I think does uh, excellent in the V60. It's our Hacienda Sonora um, from Hacienda Sonora in Costa Rica, um, farmed by Diego Guardia and his brother. It has a lot of uh, really nice cherry, um, strawberry kind of sweetness and acidity, um, and a really clean, juicy uh, cup, which go really well with this particular brewing method. What you're going to need to brew is uh, a good quality scale. Um, I'm using one today, which I generally prefer, the 4,000 gram capacity and about a half gram resolution, um, and that is about ideal. You're going to need your V60 brewer. We're using the ceramic version today. They also make a glass um, version, a plastic version, and a metal version, um, all fairly similar. You're going to need your Hario V60 size 2 filters. Um, and I would recommend using the Hario brand filters. They fit perfectly, um, and not all filters are the same. These are really excellent at producing a great cup of coffee. You're going to need your uh, either a decanter to brew into if you're brewing um, a couple small cups, or you can brew directly into a mug. Um, I recommend a good pouring kettle. A uh, pouring kettle will have an elongated, um, narrow spout that allows you to control the water as you're brewing um, a little more carefully and that, once again, just eliminates a lot of variables that um, can inhibit your ability to produce a really good cup of coffee. Use uh, some freshly roasted coffee, five days to 14 days off roast, and you're gonna wanna grind that fresh. If you can uh, get a burr grinder, burr grinders are really great at producing a really even grind, and that's gonna reduce in a really even cup of coffee. Uh, any grinder and uh, grinding that coffee fresh is gonna give you a much better cup than pre-ground coffee. 100% of the time. Our uh, measurements today, or our brewing ratio, is going to be for uh, what we consider to be really good for this coffee for uh, producing about 10 and a half to 11 uh, ounce cup. Um, for us, on this coffee, it's 22 and a half grams of coffee ground on a medium to medium fine consistency, um, and 336 grams of water. Uh, here in the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, we want that water just off boiling and then it'll kind of start creeping up on 200 degrees. Um, but you want to be in the 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit range. So we're going to go ahead and grind the coffee. Then we're going to unfold our filter. The easiest way to get it uh, kind of fully filling up the um, brewer is to open it up from the inside with your hand and then the little seam on the side, just fold that against itself. That should make a perfect cone. You're going to rinse out your filter and warm up your brewer at the same time. Make sure that filter is fully saturated with water. You can't use too much water and what we're doing there is just trying to get the temperature of that brewer up so it doesn't uh, uh, take heat from your coffee slurry as well as get that filter fully saturated with water so it's not um, absorbing water and reducing the strength of your cup. And discard that water. Take your ground coffee and put it directly into the bottom of your filter. You're going to want to have that all kind of in a nice uh, compact, even group there in the bottom of your um, filter so that we can bloom it really evenly and also uh, zero your scale out. For blooming the coffee, um, you want to bloom it just so that uh, you ensure those coffee grounds are kind of fully saturated with water so that once you start brewing there's not a lot of turbulence for uh, or from uh, grounds or dry clumps of coffee rising up and floating at the top or releasing gas um, 
and so we get a, once again, nice even extraction. The general rule of thumb is you're gonna wanna use about twice the weight of coffee in water to bloom it. So since we have 22 grams of coffee, we're gonna use about 44 grams worth of water. You can pour that in fairly fast and start your timer when you start blooming and then give your bloom a really good stir to make sure there's no dry pockets of coffee in the bottom. Watch that bloom as it kind of swells. You'll see it bubbling and releasing some gas. You're going to want to start your overall uh, pour when that bloom, bloom stops swelling but has not started to dry out yet. And once you start pouring, try to pour as evenly as possible. Keep that rate of flow constant as you slowly bring the level of the slurry up to about four-fifths from the top of the brewer. If you see any floating uh, clumps of coffee on the top, just knock those down with the stream of water. When you reach 336 grams, give it a gentle stir. You want to avoid um, stirring it heavily enough that you add a lot of air to your coffee slurry. That'll cool it down um, and slow extraction, but enough to get it moving, similar to just uh, paddling a canoe. As your coffee uh, drains through your bed of grounds and your filter, you're gonna want to see very little to no coffee on the sides of your filter. If you do see coffee on the sides of your filter that's kind of floated up and stuck to the sides, um, that's a result of not uh, giving it enough time during the bloom. And you're going to want your coffee um, bed to be nice and even there in the bottom, um, either flat or with a slight rounded uh, top. Once that coffee is completely drained through, remove your filter. Uh, don't squeeze the extra coffee out, just discard it immediately. And if you're using a decanter, you can pour straight from your decanter into your cup or you can drink straight from your cup. It's good.